Hello, dear students. Uh, in a previous lesson, after you have learned about the individual circuit of pure resistance, pure inductance, and pure capacitance, in this lesson, you will be able to learn about the RLC series AC circuit, okay? A complex circuit. As you can see in this figure, the circuit is connected with the AC source. This is AC source, okay? And the emitter for measuring the current uh, connected in the series uh, connection, okay? And uh, we have resistance, inductance, and capacitance. All the resistance, inductance, and capacitance are connected in series connection, okay? Are connected in what? In series connection. So, as you can see in this figure, uh, in a series connection, the potential difference drop across the resistance. And the potential difference also drops across the inductance and drops across the capacitance. So, we can say that uh, V total, V total is equal to what? Is equal to, according to the Pythagorean theorem, is equal to Vr square plus Vl minus Vc square. Okay? And the currents are equal. In serious connection, in serious connection, the magnitude of the current, sorry, the magnitude of the current uh, is equal, okay? I E total is equal to I across resistance, equal to I across inductance, and equal to I across capacitance, okay? In serious connection, the value of the currents are equal, and the magnitude of the potential difference are different, because the potential difference will drop across each of the resistance, inductance, and capacitance. Now, I'm going to prove this equation. So this is very important equation to find the uh, effective value of total potential difference or maximum uh, value of total potential difference. Okay. So if we have a uh, two plane, X and Y, okay, this is X and this is Y. Okay. So the potential difference across the resistor is located on the east. This is Vr. Okay? So the potential difference, as you learned it in a previous lesson, across the resistance, potential difference and current are in phase. The phase difference is zero between the potential difference and the current. Okay? Um, but in inductance, in inductance, the potential difference, in inductance, potential difference, VL, potential difference, VL is out of phase with the current. What do you mean by that? It means that potential difference across the inductance leads behind, leads behind the, uh, leads the current by phase pi over 2 or 90 degree. Okay, in inductance, potential difference leads the current by phase pi over 2 or uh, 90 degree. It means that potential difference and current are out of phase. Okay, this angle is 90 degree or pi over 2 rad. The same thing, okay? Uh, the potential difference across the capacitance, as you learn it, in capacitance, the potential difference, potential difference lag is, potential difference lag is behind the current, which means that located to the south. This is potential difference across what? Across the capacitance. Potential difference lag is behind current by phase 90 degree or pi over 2 rad. Okay? So, what is the angle between potential difference across the capacitance and potential difference across the resistance is 90 degree. VC with current, 90 degree also with IC. VL with VR, 90 or pi over 2 right. VL with the current across the inductance also pi over 2 rod or 90 degree. So, 
what about the angle between VL and VC is 180 degree or pi right so this is very important what is the angle between potential difference across the inductance and potential difference across the capacitance pi rod or 180 degree so how can we deal with this situation in this case we have a complex uh, circuit inductance resistance and capacitance so it means that all things all these three inductance resistance and capacitance they are rotating at a frequency frequency or angular speed okay all the th all the inductance resistance and capacitance they are rotating in this plane x and y at a frequency or angular speed okay so according to this phasor diagram, so this is the phasor diagram of uh, potential difference across the inductance, resistance, and capacitance. To find the total effective current, BE total, okay, so we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. What is this? This is VE total, okay? VE total according to the Pythagorean theorem is equal to what? V total is equal to VR square, VR square adjacent square plus in opposite. What we have in opposite? We have two vector. The vector of VL and VC because they are in opposite direction. That is why we have to subtract. Subtract what? VL minus VC. Okay. What is the vector addition between the potential difference across the inductance and across the capacitance? is equal to VL minus VC. So this is the opposite, VL minus VC squared. So in this equation, we can find the effective value of total potential difference or the effective value of potential difference across the circuit. Across what? Across the circuit. And according Ohm's law, according Ohm's law, we can also find the total effective potential difference Ohm's law this is just Ohm's law V E total is equal to what? I Z what do you mean by Z? Z is the total impedance in this equation what does Z represent? Z is the total impedance how can you find the total impedance in this equation? So, according to this equation, look, V total, VE total is equal to what? VR square plus VL minus VC square. If you divide this equation by current, if you divide by current, IE total, current across the resistance, current across the inductance, current across the capacitance, and all are equal because it is serious connection. As you know, according to Ohm's law, VE over IE total, because in this circuit we have all the resistance, inductance, and capacitance, so VE total over IE total is equal to what? If you rearrange this equation, is equal to VE total over I. V e total over I e total is equal to what? Is equal to Z. Okay? Is equal to Z. Is equal. Uh, the radical. V R across I R is equal to R square. Plus V L over I L according to Ohm's law is equal to what? Is equal to X L. Minus V C over I C. X C square. Okay? And also you can represent by a phasor diagram here. Okay. So uh, this is resistance. Okay. This is if you have potential difference across inductance, it means that we have XL here and XC here. To find what is the total resistance here, the total resistance is Z. Okay, what do you mean by Z? The total resistance across the circuit. 
and as you know xl minus xc located in opposite side and this is r okay according to the pythagorean theorem z is equal to what r square plus xl minus xc square okay did you understand so uh and also you can find you can find the angle theta between the potential the total potential difference across the potential difference across the resistance the total potential difference across the source to the potential difference across the resistance is equal to what tan inverse according to this equation pythagorean theorem this angle okay the angle between the effective value of the total or across the circuit to the potential difference across uh, the resistance is equal to what tan theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse opposite over adjacent what we have in opposite vl minus vc what we have in the adjacent vr is equal to what vl minus vc over vr and also you can find the direction or the angle between the total resistance impedance the total impedance with the resistance theta is equal to tan inverse what we have in the opposite xl minus xc over resistance okay so by this way you can solve all the questions that related with the rlc in serious connection hope you enjoy and get benefits from my lesson inshallah in the next lesson we will solve all questions that related with the rlc series in ac circuit thank you for listening